Hello, my name is John. I made this video today to showcase the widespread unethical business practices by Johnson & Johnson senior leadership. Please make a conscious choice to boycott all Johnson & Johnson consumer brands and divest any shares of stock that you may have in this company. I don't know of any other major pharmaceutical company that has been involved in more drug safety and quality control problems than Johnson & Johnson has been over the last several years. My life has been ruined by the Johnson & Johnson drug called Leviquin. I have been suffering in pain every day for over seven years due to extensive nerve and tendon damage. My great financial loss pales in comparison to the suffering that I've had to endure. I have communicated with hundreds of other people that are suffering from Leviquin toxicity. It is a terrible tragedy. Immense suffering, broken homes, enormous medical bills, bankruptcy. There is nothing more sacred than a person's health and we feel that we had ours stolen from us, from this company. Many decades ago, Johnson & Johnson used to be an honorable and reputable American icon. Not anymore. Bribes, kickbacks, phantom recalls, massive taxpayer fraud, defective and toxic products, downplayed drug risks, have all dominated the news over the last several years. This company has knowingly and needlessly betrayed the public trust by endangering millions of people, all due to putting profits over people. Where is their moral compass? What happened to their conscience? Johnson & Johnson is certainly not the family company that they portray themselves to be. They are in fact the exact opposite. Iceland put many of their bank executives in jail for crimes such as fraud and falsifying documents. The country of Iceland put the needs of their people first. I feel that this country needs to do the same with Johnson & Johnson's senior management for their actions. I want to share with you just a few articles about Johnson & Johnson. The first one is from the Star Ledger editorial board and it's called Johnson & Johnson Big Company Shows Small Morals. And within this article it states the following. This is despicable behavior and it's widespread. If these same acts were committed by an individual, that person would likely find themselves in prison. And again, this is Johnson & Johnson's hometown newspaper, the Star Ledger. The second article is CBS News, and this is 2012, and it says Arkansas judge finds Johnson & Johnson more than one billion in risk for all case. A jury found that the company downplayed and hid risks associated with their drug Risperdal. Judge Tim Fox found nearly 240,000 violations under Arkansas Medicare fraud uh, over this drug. Medicare fraud is you and me, the taxpayer, being ripped off. The third article is from Reuters News. And it says, Johnson & Johnson settles United States and United Kingdom bribery and kickback charges. The final news piece is from Business Week magazine. And it says on the cover of Business Week magazine, after more than 50 recalls in 15 months, can Johnson & Johnson, the family company, still be trusted? And the answer to that is a resounding no. Again, I ask that you please divest any shares of stock that you may have in this immoral company and please make a conscious choice to boycott all Johnson & Johnson consumer products. By making that choice, you are supporting all those people out there that are suffering devastating disabilities from this company. Deep down inside, you will feel good about your decision. There are many other safer brands of products that can be bought. 
instead of Johnson & Johnson consumer products. I thank you very much for your time and consideration.